Welcome to Educator.com's AP Music Theory course. This first lesson is uh, note reading. So the lesson objectives for this uh, lesson are to learn the note names on the piano keyboard, uh, learn to name the notes on the keyboard, and then learn uh, the note names on the musical staff. And we can use our knowledge of the piano keyboard to help us learn the notes on the staff. So let's take a look at this uh, piano keyboard graphic. And the first thing to notice about it is that uh, one thing that can help us remember where the notes are on the piano keyboard is that it's not a symmetrical layout. So we've got these two black notes here and then a group of three black notes. And this is the kind of disposition that repeats over the course of the keyboard. So we can know that this first white note here to the left of this group of two black notes is the note C. And then from there, we can just go up alphabetically until we get to G. So C, D, F, G. And then, of course, we have the notes A and B and back to C on this white note here. So best way to remember the notes on the piano keyboard are to be familiar with these groupings of two and three black notes and to know that C corresponds to this first white note next to the two black notes. And let's look at uh, where these correspond to on the musical staff. So if this was the middle C on the piano here, so middle C, on the staff in the treble clef, we can find that middle C here. And then, of course, going up, we'll have the same notes that we did on the white notes of the keyboard. So C, so here's C, here's a D, here's an E, here's an F, here's a G, and then A and B. And of course, we can continue this forever. So C, D, E, F. And on the bass clef, we can find this middle C on the piano here. So this was middle C on the treble clef, and this is middle C on the bass clef. And now we can move down, which means we should go backwards through this alphabet. So C, B, A, G, F, E, D, and back to C. So this is, of course, not a full piano keyboard graphic. So this middle C would actually be, uh, if you were sitting at a piano, would be the C that you would most likely be sitting right in front of if you were centered on the keyboard. So uh, if you're not sure which one that is, you can count the C's from the top and from the bottom and find the one that's in the middle.